The validation tool can check the status of Catalyst Center's hardware components, applications and services running on the server, as well as the status of external systems. The validation tool can be accessed from the hamburger menu, System, System 360, and then click on the System Health tab. Once you're on the System Health page, in the upper right corner, click Tools, Validation Tool. Now, if you've already run the validation tool before, you would see the results here. Now, since this is the first time running the tool, I'll click New Validation Run. I'll call it V1 for Validation Run 1, and then I'll give it a description. Then I'll select one or more validation sets. The appliance infrastructure checks the overall condition of the environment. For instance, is Catalyst Center able to access uh, the software updates page. Is DNS working? What about CPU and memory utilization? It validates those settings as well as checks applications and services such as the AppStack status, Elasticsearch, Rabbit, Kafka, etc. It also checks the physical components of the server such as power supplies, hard drives, NICs, CPUs, and memory modules. Now if you're running a very large environment, you may be interested in the appliance scale validation set. What is your total number of devices? Or what is the number of wired versus wireless devices? How many ports are there? What about the number of interfaces? It shows you those metrics as well as the number of wired and wireless clients. It also validates the number of sites, IP pools, net flows received, policies, security groups, and access contracts. To, to verify that they're within the scale limits. As well, it also verifies the size of your Mongo and Postgres databases. The application health status checks SD access. I'm not using SD access, so I'll leave this one unchecked. But I will select the application health. This will help identify potential issues receiving telemetry data back from the network devices. And I'll also check ICE, and I'll select the Upgrade Readiness status as well, and then click Run. Uh, so just to, to make sure I have uh, everything checked, uh, you know what, I'll, it looks like I missed the first one, so I'll go ahead and I'll just, actually, I'll just go ahead and check everything, and I'll just click Run. Now, I have a really small lab, so these tests will run f fairly quickly, but I'll speed it up through editing. Now that it is complete, we can go ahead and view the results. It shows the name, description, and this one came back as critical, so I'll click on View Status. And then underneath the Appliance Infrastructure, it looks like most things are within the normal range indicated by the Info Status. As I scroll down, I see an issue with my power supply. I only have one plugged in, so that makes sense. It also looks like I need to update my firmware and RAID controller, so that's good to know. Next, I'll check out the appliance scale. It shows total device count, wired and wireless devices, port and interface counts, wired and wireless clients, transient clients, the number of sites, IP pools, net flows, policies, security groups, access contracts, fabric sites, as well as the size of the Mongo and Postgres databases. I'll skip over the application health because I'm not doing SD access. Under assurance health, I can see that I have some devices that haven't been provisioned yet. For ICE, my group-based policy migration needs to be set up, but it's nice that it tells me how to do it in the message. It also looks like I'm running an incompatible version of ICE. As far as the upgrade readiness, it's letting me know that I haven't backed up Catalyst Center within the last week, and it's notifying me that a bunch of services restarted within the past 24 hours, uh, which is expected because I had some power issues in my lab last night. Uh, so this concludes the Catalyst Center validation tool.